you're a bottom. I'm like, yeah, I'm a lazy bottom. Like, sit me down there and roll me, daddy. Jared, I'm looking right at you. <laughs> sit me down and roll me, The daddy. eye contact is honestly what made me uncomfy there. Roll me, daddy. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 104 of Dropouts. And some people might be like, I can do math. What is 104? Oh, that is a two-year anniversary. Oh, this means a lot. We've been doing it for two years. That's crazy. <laughs> also, another thing. Make a note of something. What? Uh, this is Jared's birthday episode, and like, shut the hell up! I was getting into no, that. No, no, because I want to say we're fucking terrible friends. We have decor. He's decorated for both of our birthdays. Um, I want to track the <laughs> shut no, the hell up because you're right. We're fucking <laughs> terrible people. No, 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 no. We didn't do anything for mine. For mine. No, we decorated yours. I decorated for yours. I. It was the Harry, Harry Potter, Potter theme. Remember? No, but the time before that, you were in a bad mood. Remember, and then I, I was. It was. Like a really sad birthday. I mean, it was a sad birthday, but I still decorated. Because you were in a suit and it was, you had a wand and everything. I took you to VR, man. Okay, well, let's but, get but into But why the, the fuck did we not decorate that? I feel terrible. He's decorated for both of our birthdays. So. Well, you weren't even going to be here for this podcast. So how are you going to be here to decorate? I know, I just feel bad. I forgot it was your birthday episode. I Frankly, your birthday whipped around the corner like nobody's it's business. It's your birthday right now. What are you, do you wish for? Oh my God, it's your birthday! I, I can't say what I wish for, or else it won't come no, true. No, this, this is oh like a God. this is one time where you can't. If it's on a podcast, that's part of the loophole. Yeah. It's in the wish. Um, it's in the rules. It's in the rules. That's in a, uh, a the, Timmy Turmer for, reference. Yeah. Do you say Timmy Turmer? Timmy Turmer. Uh, if Timmy I could wish for one thing, I mean, I would wish for my career to take off. Oof! It's not actually in the rules. That'll never oh, happen what now. the Hit some hell? intro music. <laughs> What have you been doing all day today, Jared? Uh, well, we went to Chili's. We'll get into that later in the podcast. We did uh, go to Chili's. And then we ate so much, I felt disgusting. And Zach and I came home and we... <laughs> we were with um, two Englishmen when we were eating. And did you notice, like, the amount that they ate was a lot less. Like, we were, a lot we were less. putting some yeah, food no, the, down. That's what I was saying. The portion sizes in the U.S. when I first came over here... That's why I've literally never been able to finish my plate at at a restaurant here. Massive portion sizes here. It's ridiculous. No wonder no, obesity is such a problem here, dude. Like massive first off, portions. If you're gonna if you're gonna subtweet Jared's love handles, just oh, at <laughs> just <laughs> at him next time. Just at him next time. Jared Bear love handles. We should create an Instagram for him. I don't even think he has bad love handles. No, he doesn't. I do. I feel whatever. I just want. I really else. want you to get lipo though, because. Like the amount of people I could tell, like Jerry got lipo. <laughs> no, no, you can't make it a negative thing. It's now. not a negative it's thing. Lipo. It's the most positive thing. I love watching you in surgery. You've never seen me in surgery. Have you ever seen my dreams? I didn't think so. Oh, weird. Why are you? Dreaming That's the only about thing. That? What if the only thing I dre I've dreamt about was you having surgery, having liposuction specifically, and then him and his faha after. In my faha. Yeah, you gotta wear like a. a a body like like a body suit like look up look up what a faha is what's a fupa fupa Fat upper pussy area really <laughs> yeah that's what it's an acronym yeah a fupa is kind of something it's, it happens to a lot of uh women after they get pregnant because their uh uteruses and w everything expands so much sometimes it like never goes down and it, it's just like a little oh i'm pro fupa you want to know why why because have you ever watched a movie with your lady and there's no there's no better place to watch a movie with your lady than your head between your thighs laying down watching the movie <laughs> the oh fupa is like a little God. headrest it's like one of those travel neck pillows <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm so pro the fupa, fupa is a travel neck Hashtag Net. free, hashtag free the fupa. That's good, hashtag alliteration. justice for the poopa. For the poopa. For the poopa. Justice for the fupa. There we go. Justice for the fupa. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best birthday that you guys ever Dude, had? Dude, don't give me this BS. My it's 19th birthday, Mexico. Oh, that was, that was a fun birthday. That's a good birthday. That was really good. I also really enjoyed... All the gifts I got. <laughs> what? That's such a weird way you said that. I mean, uh, my 18th gifts. What? Like the, Dude, the I don't Elvis know what Presley about thing you got. Oh, I forgot that was for your 18th. I was like really depressed, but it was still like sick gifts. And then like Mexico was definitely one of my favorite birthdays. Do you feel your birthday excitement declining at this age? I feel like 24 is an age where people are really not caring about your birthday anymore. When you're 23, <laughs> it's because you can listen to the 
the, the song. Blink 182 yeah. song. Well, Blink Nobody likes you when you're 23. So, and then I feel like after that, no birthdays matter. Except, um, except for well, maybe no, 100. I feel like then the decades matter, right? Because then 30, 40, like 30, 50. 40, 50. But not to anyone else. No, no people no. care about that. Pe- people care about decades, but like. They don't care about anything like, between. When's the last time you've cared about someone turning 30? Well, I don't know that many people. What about 40? I remember my mom's 40. Did you care? Birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Because you guys I, love your family, I can tell. That's <laughs> such a toxic trait, you two. What? Like my grandpa just turned seven. I mean, any birthday we have with him is like, are you still here? Because <laughs> of the cancer? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Way to make it dark. Oh, Zach, no. oh, oh, Jared doesn't like cancer patients? Is that what I just heard? Wow. Wow. Just because it's your birthday? What the wow. hell? How did you even So you don't think like we that? should celebrate my grandpa for I didn't fighting say that. for his life for the Every last Every day is like a birthday years. to him. I didn't say that. He lives I his said, life like a birthday because said, he doesn't know when is going to be his last. I said that phrasing it like, how are you still here? Is kind of <laughs> dark. That's what I was saying. You know what? Jared texted me the other day. I didn't want to bring this up. This is so not true. Well, now that we're on the you don't know that. What if he was going to text you and say, "Did you do laundry?" Now that we're on the the cancer thing, I didn't want to bring it up because I had a conversation with him, but I don't think he changed his mind. He texted me and said, "If I could, I would take away the make a wishes from cancer kids." I did not say that. <laughs> I did spend not. Them uh, on that myself. sounds like something you would say, Jared. No, it does not. I actually wholeheartedly think that you definitely said that because I actually think that you said that to me. I never said that. Those words never came out of my mouth. That's why that's he would never watch. Horrible. That's why he would never watch Caillou growing up because he hated um, that he had cancer. Caillou had cancer. I thought he was just bald. Well, he could okay, have how cancer. Many, how many bald five-year-olds do you know? <laughs> What's the condition where you don't have hair? Alopecia. 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 He had eyebrows though. Did he? But or- if he had cancer, then he would not have eyebrows. You lose all hair everywhere we actually we've uh, i've been going back and forth with um one of our uh dropouts listeners and she she told me she's terminal um oh, fuck. yeah but we've been she's told me she fa- she wasted her make a wish so she uh she, she wishes it. she could have came here and met us and, and had a, a better really time say that? yeah let me wait let well, me get her name her come. wait how'd she waste her make a wish i don't know if i should say it. her name is steph i won't say her last name because she doesn't want her last name in it so when she was 16 years old, she was obsessed with Justin Bieber and decided to meet him as his wish. But the time came and he got to Australia and found out that um, she had to share her Make-A-Wish with, with a bunch of uh, other kids. Aww. Oh, that sucks. I don't know why I couldn't talk through that entire thing. I, yeah, my mouth is so dry right now. Yeah, me too. And I picked the furthest place from Sydney, which is Perth, Australia. Oh. That's where she went to meet Biebs. It's pretty funny. But yeah, she lives in Australia bit- now, so we should definitely go visit her. But- we're joking about like her being terminal. I don't know if we're joking about no, it. No, 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 no. We are. Oh, in the conversation. Yeah. yeah. Clue in. You want me to say clue in every time we need you to clue in? <laughs> no. Okay. It would literally be, the count would be too high. No, she has such a good sense of humor about it and, and things like that. I think that, that's so. kind of all you can have at some point. What a waste of a wish to meet us. Imagine, oh, imagine that would be such a waste. Of imagine a wish. wishing you could meet us. <laughs> like you could uh, wish to meet anyone. Imagine meeting. In, imagine meeting Indiana Massara as your make a wish. No, you got. You got to be. You've got to fight back at me for this good rapport because I look like an a hole. If you agree with me when oh, I say that, I agree with you wholeheartedly. What a waste <laughs> of a make, dude. <laughs> what a waste of a make a wish to be like. I want to go meet Indiana Massara. See, don't look like an a hole. <laughs> it's it's not a waste if our like if your content. Brings that person legitimate. I'd be happiness. so sad to meet you. Why? I if I'm too. dying of cancer and I get here and, and you just are smiling at me. Remixing songs that don't need to be remixed. Her funeral song. If there's a cancer patient that came in here, Jared would definitely be like, you want to listen to my music? And they'd be like, sure. could we do anything you else? You want to listen to some unreleased? Everything's unreleased when it comes to Jared's music. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Fucking roasted. But it is your birthday. So <laughs> thanks. What do you hope to achieve in your 24th year on this planet? Oh, but uh, Steph. If Curry, baller. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> You've got to tighten it that up. That was way funnier in my mind. Okay. There's no way it was funnier. Even like your, <laughs> even your like um, subconscious is like, no. <laughs> it was actually should have kept that one in my yeah. mind. I thought you guys were gonna go. <laughs> in what world have you ever seen me laugh in general? And you thought a mid tier, bottom tier joke would do it? To be like, oh, maybe he likes bad humor. 
<laughs> that's probably what he liked. But no, if if she ever comes to the states, I'd love to have her on the podcast. Oh, oh yeah, she's in absolutely. Perth. She lives. She lives in Sydney. Sydney, yeah. I think I find that just really fascinating. The kind of whole process that a human being she has to go it. through and stuff like that. You should go visit her. Like people always try to defend people. You can't make these jokes about cancer. Blah blah blah. It's I like they, they. It's like they're laughing. Why are you mad? They think it's funny. That's like the issue with like a lot of things though. Like you make like a slightly controversial joke and it's like the people that it's aimed towards aren't even mad. They're actually laughing about it. Well, Mr. Mr. Bean, the the actor, what's his name? Rowan Atkinson. Is that his name? Um, he just I came out. Him. He was either doing an interview or a podcast or something, but he came out and he was like, comedy is meant to be offensive or like uh trying to be offensive um, or like you're meant to be offended by comedy or the comedian is, is at least supposed to try to offend you. Like the point is that there's always a, but at the end of the joke, you know, and it's like, but you have to, cause he's talking about the, the cancel culture thing with comedians and how, all right, what the hell was that? What is going on? I felt something crawl on my nose. Was it a good joke? Maybe it could come out again. <laughs> anyway, he was just saying that comedians should be allowed to say whatever they want because nothing they say should be taken seriously. Well, a lot of it's satire. It's like it's putting a mirror on the world in a, exactly. in a joking way. Like, here's the problem. What are you doing? Um, for our audio listeners, Indiana is uncontrollably laughing over something that I assume is not going to be funny. But let's sit and wait. <laughs> Knee slapper? Is that what you're trying to say? Why are you gasping for wind? Because that's what we call a good joke it's a knee slapper but i was the knee slapper did she what? smoke something before this like what is going on that is, that is so funny well it depends I, who you ask. i don't understand <laughs> what the joke was i was slapping my knee and it's me being the knee slapper and we're talking about jokes and people are like that's a knee slapper remember that comedy thing we're gonna get you two groundlings let's start that let's call them right uh, out. it's not that we don't think you're funny it's just i also think i'm so overly tired right now i've been working on set and i think i'm like delusional and finding things that are absolutely not funny it's like that 2 a.m sleepover kind of like, Giggles, just start like <laughs> this is Jared's birthday. Why are we not celebrating? Good- why are we going to celebrate a mid tier human? Well, we celebrated you, so be <laughs> bottom tier. I'm a bottom tier. We celebrate me because we feel bad for me. Well, Jared's a bottom too, but you seem like a bottom power bottom, maybe. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong. How with much can you hip thrust? There's nothing wrong with being I a bottom. In my, know. in my I opinion, I found out that I could do like a decent amount, like 200 pounds. Really? Why do they always say like a bottom, like you're a bottom in a negative connotation? I don't know. Because you're getting it. You're not giving it. I give it from the bottom. But if I was, if, <laughs> but if I was like, if I was gay and I was, I feel like I'd rather get it. Wouldn't that be, cause I don't have to do as much work. I guess. But it's well, like I guess you're you do. A- you're a bottom. I'm like, yeah, I'm a lazy bottom. Like sit me down there and rail me, daddy. That's all I want. Jared, I'm looking right at you. <laughs> sit me down and rail me. The daddy. Eye contact is honestly what made me uncomfy there. Rail me, daddy. Do you, ever, do you ever wish you're attracted to men? It's like hanging out with your boy all day. It's like, we're going to play video games. We're gonna, maybe this isn't what it's like. And I'm very. <laughs> <laughs> you're super out of touch. You're just, yeah, you're just <laughs> describing a friendship, you know? Yeah, but then we got to have sex with each other. <laughs> like, good Halo game, man. Now suck me off. Either, either, either I just got like praise. Good Halo game, man. Now suck. Either I just got on the, the side. Like, either I'm an ally in what I'm saying or. I just got hashtagged. <laughs> I just got hashtagged. And I want you, I want to let you guys know that um, this was cancel coming. Cancel justice. Imagine that fucking can- can- cancel, cancel justice. justice? People, are, people don't know what it means. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> anyway, happy Pride Month, by the way. Happy Pride Month. Um, your parents, <laughs> they celebrating? My parents? Um, I mean, they're not really like the type to go down to like you know, downtown and like, Oh yeah, they are. Come on. The parade. <laughs> they probably okay. got some videotape. Their, their own downtown, maybe, but not downtown. Aww. Like Cincy. Did you make a joke about your parents like that? It's not a know. joke. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of rank that you just made a joke about your parents like that. That's not a joke. <laughs> that's not a joke. They just, that's the whole point. They're together. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's to like, them. What, don't it's make a joke beautiful. Like that. The love that they have okay, is right, the Jared. love right, that Jared. I aspire to have one day. Do you honestly think the clitoral stimulation? Yeah, Can I we love actually not talk about your parents' sex life? <laughs> They'd probably appreciate that. This is for you. <laughs> We're gonna stop right now for you, <laughs> Jared. Uh, so he he wants to get into music. Well, he's already in music, but he wants to do more music and be famous and go as Jer Bear. I want to be famous. But you know, like Post Malone, like people like call him Post Malone if he's in interviews and stuff. People are gonna call you Jer Bear. That's an odd but, name. But to I'm be called. but I'm saying, should we start calling him Jer Bear instead no. of Jared? You said you'd love that. 
No, we had I, a full conversation about it today. I call you Jerry Bear every now and then. Yeah, every now and then is fine, but don't like adjust, like people don't walk around. Hey, Jerry Bear, did you do the dishes? Well, okay. It does sound I like I want to have sex with you. But that's weird because it feels like you're calling me by my full. Like if I walked around and was like, hey, Zach, Zach Justice, Justice, you want to go get Cold Stone? Like that's weird. Like post I would love that. Post. People, Post-y. yeah, people are saying. My last name is way better than my first name. So I'd love that. <laughs> and there's a time in my life when people that's only like called me, me I Justice. Call you, like Jared or Jer. Or- in college, people just called me Justice. But is Jer much. Hey, Jer. I like Jer. No, I really yeah, but, like Jer. But for me, Feels, no, I mean that would be weird for you because we've already established what we call each but other. But any guy calling you, you call Jared, Jared, what? Jared, what do you call Jared? He just calls me Jared. Well, roommate is what I prefer. <laughs> Jared roommate is his contact for you. Yeah, I know, <laughs> and it's not even a picture of me; it's a picture of Zach and his mom. <laughs> I love that there. picture. I have a silly goofy mood today. I was in a silly goofy mood on set today too. It was like a really serious scene, and the girls and I just kept looking at each other, fucking pissing ourselves laughing. Is that the scene where you had to kiss somebody? This was like a scene where I was like, college is really hard. Like it's you would know. Hard. I know. I wouldn't. It's college is honestly, I mean, granted, I was in an easy like major, but it was it was the easiest thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> I've seen the women you've gotten with. Oh my God. What? <gasps> oh shit. Roasted. I can't wait till we get someone new in here. Hey, I'm great. I bring a life to this party. What is the earliest gift that you remember um, or even like the best gift that you got as a child. Um, I remember there is, so one of my growing up, one of my aunts uh, worked at target and target thing for an insect. What stupid go. Tar- <laughs> I just heard what you said. Um, target had this like exclusive deal with Marvel and of course. shut up. I was a literal kid. Okay. Yeah, you still I, was, are. I was allowed to be excited by this, but they had like an exclusive deal with Marvel with the fantastic. It was when the second fantastic four movie rise of the silver surfer came out and they like only a few targets were going to get like the silver Surfer action figure. And I remember my aunt, Luckily, like she had like a morning shift one day and they were like restocking the shelves and she found they had like only like two of them or something like that. And she was able to like snag one for me. And what what were the feelings like when you opened up that present? I can't. You for it. Yeah, I, it was I was ecstatic Bliss. because because it was one of the most badass action figures. I had like it was very simple, you know, like the Silver Surfer is literally just a chrome metal dude or whatever, but it was one of those where like you could move like every joint and so it like you had like a lot of room for imagination and then um I've always been obsessed with like like board sports, you know, like longboarding, skateboarding, surfing, whatever. And so like you could have him fly around on this board that he could stand on. And then I, I had, would you say that was your peak joy of your human existence? Maybe not peak joy. Would you say, would you say that would make top 10? Maybe like top seven. You've had presumably six more happinesses to top the silver surfer moment. Maybe not at this point. Yeah. Cause the way that you talked about that, I've never seen that My was eyes a, light up. Well, like no, that. that I've, there's a difference between a resting smile and a, and a, Smile from actual happiness. And that was a a smile from actual happiness. Yeah, nostalgia will do that to you. Nostalgia, nostalgia is the thickest drug. I feel like that's it, why a lot of um like production companies are like rebooting everything because they know that giving that little hit of nostalgia, like the Buzz Lightyear movie that just came out, right? That that little hit of nostalgia, not even little hit. That's a huge hit of nostalgia, right? From the original Toy Story. Um, they know that's going to sell. If heroin gave me back the magic of adolescence, I'd be a junkie. There was nothing better than say, than say the belief of Santa. Oh, like the, the anticipation on a Christmas Eve and, and my sister and I, we would, we'd be in bed at my granny's house. Uh, Cause we'd, we'd have to stay in like one room that night because, Santa, I, they made up something so they could like put the presents wherever. So we like camp out in the same room and then we convinced each other that we heard the we reindeer. We heard reindeer. We heard Santa. We, the joy that your heart feels when a magic man is bringing you your childhood dreams and going to put them under a tree is unmatched. It really is. I used to believe in Santa so hard 
there is one time my mom loves telling me the story. I don't necessarily remember it. I just remember what she's told me. Um, but I guess we, we moved on Christmas Eve, right? So we we're in a completely new house by Christmas Eve night. And, uh, I was sobbing to my mom and she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, what if Santa's <laughs> not going to find us? Cause we moved. And she's Good like, point. you got to put a request. And, and she was like, she's like, no, don't worry. I've already let him know. Like, it's going to be fine. I'm you like, let him know. Imagine the amount of emails he gets. <laughs> I'm like, but you don't know that. And she's like, no, it's going to be okay. Sure enough. I, I finally go to bed that night. I wake up the next morning and just the childlike wonder of like the that hit me and when i see the presence under the tree and i just stand there i start tearing up and i go he found us <laughs> cuz he's magic and she used to have i knew which presents were from him because santa used to have his own wrapping paper did he yeah i didn't know that i think there was one time my mom slipped up this was like the first inkling where i started learning that santa might not be <laughs> real um where there was a present from her, but it was wrapped in Santa's paper. Uh oh. And I was like, why is your name on this? And she was like, uh, uh, Santa's just messed up. <laughs> and uh -oh. I was like, she has the, the was, Jared anxiety yeah. shivers as well. I was like, Santa doesn't mess up, <laughs> <laughs> but mom does. <laughs> I've seen with your past failed relationships. And she's just like, whoa, 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 Jared, where is this coming from? Um, the magic of being a child. Well, how old were you when you stopped believing in Santa? Probably, I would say like fourth grade. I was fourth grade too. And that's late because everyone else in my grade is like, Santa's not real. And I would get in debates. I'm that's like, not even that late though. Really? Cause you're what? You're like eight. I think 10. No. Fourth well, grade is no. definitely 10. Yeah, because sixth grade, you're 12. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, that's late. Never yeah. mind. We were late. And then people, no, pe and I remember the girl that I was in love with at the time. Her name was Taylor. This is why I just, just moved to Georgia. And she also believes. <laughs> I was about to make like an incest joke with the, the name Taylor just because that's your brother's name. Oh, and this then, was a female. And then as soon as you said George, I was like, it wrote itself. She was my first crush when I got to Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, I always had a crush, big crush guy, but her <laughs> name was Taylor. And just, I looked forward to when I could see her at school. That's, oh, that's, isn't that the best feeling? No better feeling. And she turns out specifically like get up to make yourself look better. Oh yeah. She also believed in Santa in the fourth grade. <laughs> and I was like, we've just got this connection. Like we've got the same beliefs. We've got the same, you know, I was trying to hit her on her and, in that angle. And <laughs> I, I kind of remember, so when I first got there, I went to this small school um, in South Georgia. So it was a huge culture shock. And I'm like, I don't like it here, mom. This school's blah, blah, blah. So she changed me schools. Cause I just, for, when I first got there and then I go to another school is even worse. Oh. And I was like, oh, it just <laughs> turns out is I wasn't in a city anymore. I was in the South. Um, and then she moved me back to the school I was at. And uh, when I came back, like I was excited to see her and I was leaving school early one day and kind of everyone leaves school. When you leave school, everyone kind of looks at you. All oh, our yeah. backpacks were in the back um, and she sat in the back. So I went to go grab my backpack and I was like, I, I thought I was being so smooth. I was like, if I dress her, just her, she'll like think like I like her and maybe she'll like me. And, uh -huh. I'll, and I just go back, I grab my backpack and I'm like, I hope you have a good rest of the day. And then I just jetted. Oh, you I, I was smooth like, talker. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Just her. Just looked in the eyes. And she's like, oh my gosh. And then, um, but there was this other girl, this other baddie in history class. Uh-huh. Um, it was really a toss up between those two. It was Taylor and then this other girl named Katrina. Oh. Um, she initially didn't like me because I made a Hurricane Katrina joke. Um, but it was around that time. As you do. But I had to. Yeah, you have you know? to. You can't come across somebody named Katrina. And, and this was like the fourth grade, so it wasn't very highbrow stuff. It was more like um, Hurricane Katrina just happened. Did you do that? <laughs> so, And she cried. She did cry. You get sent to the office for that one? It was Skylar and I. And the teacher, the teacher's like. <laughs> the dynamic duo. You can't tell Katrina that she killed a lot of people. <laughs> And I was like, well, she's not a storm. Like she knows that though. <laughs> like she's probably figured out that she's not a hurricane. And he's like, I don't think she's put it together. <laughs> I was like, well, well, that's kind of on her. He's like, that is definitely on her. But let's just, <laughs> just apologize to Katrina. Sorry, Katrina. They say you killed a lot of people. Sorry, it's okay, it's okay, you're a tropical storm. But she ended up being my first girlfriend. 
Whoa. So it all came full circle. Well, yeah, I was, has, I mean, isn't it crazy that we've known him for this long and he like just only now brings these stories up? Like, I feel like you're more in love when you're a child. Oh, a hundred percent. Like yeah, people are like, you don't know, like you're a kid. You don't know what love is. It's like, oh, I know what love is. Yeah, I believed because, in her like I believed in Santa. Because you don't get distracted by what you think love should be. You're you know? just attracted. It's literally just pure emotion. <laughs> so I dated uh, Katrina in the fourth grade. We dated for a day. I've talked about this before. And then she, we didn't talk the entire time we dated. And then she broke up with me before. It was, it was the last day of school. And then we didn't talk the entire summer. But um, in the fifth grade, I dated this girl for a week named Morgan. And Mo oh man, Morgan was gorgeous and i <laughs> i did have a little bit of a uh uh lizard brain like oh, a guy's lizard brain because yeah. she was the first girl in our class to develop <laughs> and she had boobs and i was like this is great dude i'm like loved this the one my mom had them <laughs> loved getting the milk from them but these seem nice too <laughs> um, and we dated for a week also didn't talk the entire that was my thing like that's what you did back that's then. You dated people. You didn't say a word to them. You'd pass notes. At least I would pass notes. Um, I not even that. Once oh, okay. that was like before we started dating. Yes, but we're dating for a week, and then this is also towards the end of school. Like the next year in the fifth grade, it's everyone gets a poster with our name on it, and then we'd go around the class and kind of write down, um, what you thought about every single person. Like, hey, hope you have a great summer. Or like, blah blah blah. Uh, like nice things about and that's the day we broke up and I, I'm going around to everyone in the class and I get to hers and I just I just start to break down internally. I'm like, what am I gonna write? Like I want <laughs> that was I want, always so stressful. I wanna write what we used to have an hour ago, but we don't have that anymore. We're we're nothing, Morgan. We lasted a week and that was I mean, based on how long I'd been alive, ten, eleven years old, that was a long time. That was years in my mind. So I'm just, I, I kind of like write all the stuff of, I wish we could be what we used to be. Oh my uh, God. And what grade was this? This was fifth grade. Okay. And then she gets- A little drama queen. She gets to mine. Have a GR8 summer. Have a great <laughs> summer. <laughs> That's the biggest. She might as well have just written F you. I think I wrote a poem. The best I could. And she said, have a great summer. You're writing Shakespearean sonnets and she she can't even spell out the word great. Dash Morg. <laughs> she does. She, she never did. goes by Morgan. I mean, she never goes by Morg. She didn't even finish her name. Morg sounds like a ghoul. A Morg. ghoul. Does it not sound like a ghoul? It does. Well, I'm enjoying this conversation thoroughly, but I'm going to be up in the morning. Happy now we're going to transfer to another part of the podcast where we talk to Englishmen who happen to be our friends and are in town. Well, one of them's a friend and the other one's his friend who we just met. They're friends. What's up, guys? And welcome to episode 104 of Dropouts. This is a.k.a. our second birthday for the podcast. You would have thought maybe, hey, we're going to have all three of us together because it's such a commemorative moment. Um, instead, we brought two British guys on or UK or uh, Englishmen onto the podcast who we met recently. I would in say Chili's. today, today at a Chili's. So we just decided we're going to bring them on the podcast and because uh, their voices sound nicer than ours. Jared hit some <laughs> sweet, sweet intro music. I'm not going to introduce them till afterwards. Okay. So our two English hookers today, we've got, <laughs> feel free to say your names um, or I'll say them very loud for you. Oh, I want to hear them very loud. Dude. Oh yeah, I've got to hit them very loud. This is where he forgets yours. This is Kieran oh. and Max. Well, that wasn't very he's got, loud. He's got them right. Yeah. yeah what the fuck? Well, welcome to America. I want to first start off by saying that uh, I am the leader. I don't know if you guys have been here before, but people kind of look to me for uh, most things. Fatherly um, advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of fatherly advice, it's also it's, Father's it's also day. Father's Day. <laughs> so we this is the Swag Daddy's Day. Oh, this is all about me. Um, did you guys give me any Father's Day gifts or what was kind of going on there? Oof, oof. I, don't I, think I, I thought we were the present daddy. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. He's hitting straight on with the daddy. Okay. I mean, I'm going to have to cross my leg. I mean, that silky You're voice. You're crossing your legs. I know, because I knew he was going to say something sweet and sexy, and I'd, uh, I'd, I'd pop, a, pop a blood transfusion down in my- uh, Pop for the accent. So how long have you guys had that accent? Mostly my whole life. Oh, yeah, that's pretty I, good. I've been yeah. cultivating it as long as I can. What's the difference between America? What are the biggest differences? This People <laughs> always find this fascinating. Of what do you think? What do you think about when you first got here? What are some weird things? And feel free to, you know, um, ruffle some feathers. You know, don't Oof. try to be nice to Americans. 
Because, Kieran, this it, this isn't your first time, but, Max, this is your first time here. Uh, I mean, it's my first time here. Oh, no, in no, LA. it's yeah, first yeah, time yeah. in L.A. Are you guys, well, first off, are you guys mad that we beat you in the war, or are you guys still thinking about that? Oh, <laughs> no, I'm I quite glad you took yourself Any back. war right, good. that you've won, actually. What? What, what, what <laughs> war have you ever won, actually? Uh, I mean, excuse me, the Revolutionary <laughs> War. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of whooped me there, asses. But, One uh, and two. <laughs> and we're going to try... To take number three when it comes around, <laughs> but you never know. No, no, no. That's going straight to China, right? They need a win. I heard they've got good drones coming up over there, and oh, do they really? When drones I went, are scary. I, I visited a military base, and that was the scariest thing I'd seen there. Were their drones because mm. they can just fly about ten thousand at once if they want to, and then just shoot everybody down. And I was like, oh, that's scary. Those are things they only have nightmares about. Oh. But but back to coming to America from the land of second place. I know I'm, I'm not accepting. Okay. That. I mean, come on. If you want to talk about numbers, we talking about like uh, world's highest, you know, credit card debt. We talking about you know freedom, education, healthcare. You pick scoreboard. Yeah, yeah, scoreboard. Right. <laughs> Any of those scoreboards, we're right above you, no matter. Yeah, what you, you might say. you might be better a in- arc. RKD ratio, okay? <laughs> yeah, you might be a better nation in, in treating your people better, but I mean... Who cares about that, right? We, yeah, we, who cares about we that? We threw the tea in the harbor, baby girl. Let's talk about military spending, okay? <laughs> Number one <laughs> and one through 26. We've got more tanks than you. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so you're in America. What, what are the biggest differences or what are the biggest things where you turn your head and be like, why is that a thing? Oh, God, be hell. Oh, the adverts. That was the first thing you spotted. Oh, God, the it? adverts. It um, is for for Americans, stuff. advertisements. <laughs> <laughs> the sheer need to point out that everything might kill you. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite fascinating to us. That's what makes America so amazing because you're living on the edge. You got that adrenaline rush. It's like, okay, if I eat this peanut butter, I might die. <laughs> and it's, it's it, that makes me want to live the day to the fullest because if this is my last day, I'm going to go out. That you know, makes me want to carpe this DM. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that we bend over that carpe. Do the cart? Does the carpe match the drapes, baby girl? <laughs> that's that's the real question everyone wants to know. That that is the question everyone wants to know. But the first thing we saw when we walked into our our room was that the the walls that the place was is made of might actually cause cancer. Yeah, which is always the first thing you want to see walking into a building. What about the bathroom doors? What do you think of them here? Oh, I've, you mean the slits? Yeah, the slits. I've heard a lot of people talking about slits. Oh, absolutely. They're pretty fucking big here. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't approve, man. Like, <laughs> I, I don't need to see the guy who's going to be sitting next to me taking a shit. That's how. That's why I feel like we're closer people because of it. So in the ook, it has a. Uh, you're fully. Yeah, no one can see you. No wow. one knows, like. No peeping you can't toms. Lock Wait. eyes with a guy while you're having a shit. Right? That's that's a difference between the U.S. and yeah. U.K. is yeah. that you guys don't have slits in your no. stalls. Well, like the that's part- of your stalls have like enough for a child to walk <laughs> under them as well. That's like. what Jared prefers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But he wants it just low enough where they can't walk out of them. Disgusting. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, but that would be that's the reason you would probably move to the. Oak. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can't see into the stalls? Yeah. 100%. That Pet would make peeve? my bathroom anxiety go way down. Are you an anxiety-filled bathroom user? Like, not not to the extent where, like, I can't pee, but, like, I will not poop in a public restroom, right? Like, I will avoid it at all costs. I took my first poop in a public place at, like, LAX, and that was because yeah, it was ever? a necessity. Ever in your life? What about school? Maybe, no, never at school. I never took a shit at school, <laughs> ever. Literally K through 12, never. Maybe that's just where they, all the anxiety just built up in you and constipation. You got to let it out, baby girl. I don't think I can do that. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Therapy? <laughs> well, it pretty much is therapy. We're all here therapy. for you. Let, okay, attention off of me. What What are some other differences? Hold up. For, have you seen what they what they make out those, um, do you know the hand dryers? Like the, the air ones yeah, or whatever? Yeah. So if you, if you capture the air out of those hand dryers and let it grow, for like a month. Have you seen what comes out of it? You- I don't think I want to. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a new fear for you. Oh, hell. What I happens know- in the hand dryers? It like, it becomes into like these like bacteria that actually move. No, this is what I heard that hand dryer, it actually adds more bacteria after you wash yeah. your hands than it's, it's better to not um, dry your hands off than, than use the air dryer. I hate this conversation. I, I have never heard any of this in my life Where before. have you been where, living, where man? This? You're not getting the magazines, the memos? This is big stuff over here is in the US of A. Is magazine? I, I've, I've unsubscribed for years now. I have it, heard- Indy, Indy just texted me, hey, I'm on the way. Oh. So she'll be here in like 15. And the good thing, the thing I love about Indy is she loves her job. She <laughs> takes it seriously and she's always here on time. And we don't have to replace her with a skeleton stormtrooper ever. Well, what's the name? Well, this is Marilyn oh. Monroe oh. in- 
oh, a nice. stormtrooper helmet. She's just feeling a little cheeky today and yeah. decided to put on a little stormtrooper helmet. <laughs> oh, can we can we play a little game? You tell us British words and we'll try to see what they mean. All right, you're you're the smart one. Because we were sitting at the table today. You guys were throwing out words. I'm pretty sure you made up in the moment. Name one. Uh, what, what was that one? Minge. Oh yeah, we're gonna minge. I was like, that sounds like a term that I'd search in old hub. Uh, it's it's a bit that matches the drapes is the best way of putting it. Oh, a minge is a bush. Yeah, well, not, not quite a little bit further south. But okay, wait, oh, you literate? But you used it oh, in the bad. context of like you're minged off, so you're <laughs> like. That was, that was well, you. Is this what I said? I, I was I was trying to think which one of us fucking that, said that, this. That but... you. Is that a common term among your people? No, just Max. All right, th wait, throw out a couple of those uh, Harry Potter words at us. Right, the one the one that I said earlier that clearly piqued your attention was nonce. No, oh, yeah. What that, is that nonce? confused you. Yeah. What, what's, it's an acronym for something, isn't it? Oh, I'm not a fucking clue oh, what the acronym is it, for. It's an acronym for something. It first originated from a prison. I only know this because my dad told me the other day. Was your dad in prison? Not, not yet. Not for too long. It, it's typically used for people who typically like to touch children. It's the best way to it. We're going to go ahead. Do people oh. are wondering what kind of dinner we had? It's like, okay, if we put it together, they talked about Minges, vaginas yeah. and then children <laughs> sex stuff. Oh, yeah. fuck. Just a classic dinner with Jared, huh? The, yeah, hey, that, like, you were leading the conversation. I did not lead into the minge binge. <laughs> I, you can tell. I can promise you that. I mean, you did You did point the question. I pointed. I, I was waving at kids in the chilies, but that's because I was I on got a- I blank every time. I Yeah, I was just on a mission to get a high, a high back and- um. Now that I realize we were talking about all this, I would have never. Yeah, no, no wonder they weren't waving yeah. back. Yeah, because they're hearing all these words like, oh, that guy's a pedophile. Didn't you see like yeah. the parents ushering the kids away from you? Like yeah, but I thought that was like plain hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought something was interesting because we're when we were at the table, obviously um, people of your kind mm. with your funny voices get this a lot that I just feel like I'm talking to somebody from a Harry Potter movie and you guys said, I feel like I'm talking to someone from Fast and the Furious. <laughs> and I, I was wondering, was is that an act? Because in our mind, we're actually, we're like, I'm watching Harry Potter in real life. Is that, <laughs> is that, is that, that what you guys actually feel like? It's like, I'm, I'm watching Was that Fast the first Furious. thing that came to mind? Oh, 100% oh, the first absolutely. thing. Oh, absolutely. Are you I was like, me? when Guardian Leviosa, let's do it. <laughs> Expel the arm. Right. <laughs> See? Oh, it's so creamy Dude. when he says it. He's got caramel in the center. What is this? The Philosopher's Jared might use, Stone? Uh, Jared might use your rap as a American women versus um, do I say British? What do I say? Brit bongs Brit is the uh, correct. Term. <laughs> okay, uh, what is it? Brit bongs. Yes. I don't want to say it. I feel no, like sounds, you, you feel like it's a trap, don't you? Yeah, that, sounds like like a, that sounds like a slur. Yeah. I was like, I can't use that one unless he's, I'm part of them. Unless I told leading us yeah. down a path. Do you have a preference on? What's the difference, I guess, between American girls and- I'm, I'm not sure I can answer that. Cause you've been with both. I mean, you met a girl that- Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. fancied a- It's 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 a it's a, like a whole different style, you know, like- uh, Do you have any specifics on- It's a lot more about outfits and hair here and a lot more about I, like- I disagree. Really? I was gonna I say makeup so and like, uh, you know- You're aesthetic. telling me that British girls don't worry about outfits. I swear, if one of these guys pulls out a wand, I'm gonna <laughs> freak out. I'm waiting for it. Cause when they talk to each other, I'm just like, okay, <laughs> get the shot. <laughs> Jared, can you give me your uh, best British accent and can you guys rate this on a scale of one to 10 oh, for me? Oh, absolutely. Wait, give, give him a couple sentences to run through and let him what, warm yeah. up. Well, oh. Let's not judge him off the first sentences. What's your, what's your favorite line of Harry Potter? You're a wizard, Harry. No, oh, but line. Hagrid says that and like, it's not really. Okay, well then here, throw, throw something out at him. What, what, what's that woman say when you're helping on the trains? Oh, what? Well, uh, please mind the gap. Uh, shit, okay. <laughs> uh, Don't, you're not judged dude, on this, this first is, one. You're this not is why I no, could no, never be an actor. You okay? can be an actor. This you is your vocal warm up. You, you local, gotta get like, it, into please? the right mind state. You know, stick a, a silver spoon up your ass and go, please mind the gap. That sounded way more American than I was gonna Isn't make it. it. Oh, you, you can tell Come his on. heart is just, please mind the gap. I don't know. All right, is that you're up? Please mind the minge. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> right. 10 out of 10. Please mind the minge. Okay, the fox went to the cottage to buy some porridge. The fox. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It went to the cottage. <laughs> cottage. 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 To buy some porridge. <laughs> okay, I, skill out of one out of ten. Dude, I'll, I'll give it a solid three. Okay, that's fair. Uh, you know, I was gonna go for a four. Oh, okay, there we go. A solid three and a half total. Um, should we should we test their American accents now? Oh, God. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, wait, get. What I don't even way? think Americans have accents. I actually feel that way as well. I feel like ours is just the generic black piece of paper, human yeah. default. Because I feel like that's the one in mainstream media. So that's kind of yeah, just the it's default. What, it's the white piece of paper. Do you know? Do you know all those like? Especially, I went to school with this guy from. Um, oh God, where is he from? Latvia. That was it. And he learned English from American cartoons. So 
has a strong American accent. I could have sworn he was from America. Okay, I've never understood how people can learn a language by watching like shows and TV and stuff like that. It's impressive, isn't it? it? No, it's super impressive because like I think like Ana de Armas or whatever like learned English by watching movies and stuff because she needed to learn English for to be an actress mm-hmm. here. And I like I watch, you know, like watching squid games or whatever, like watching it in Korean. It's like, I would never be able, cause I don't know what they're saying. Even <laughs> like, like, where's the context? Exactly. Where's the context? It's like, you know, I can pick up visually what they're, what they're doing or what they're talking about, but it's like, I don't know what words apply to what, you know, like it sounds like they're talking in cursive, honestly. <laughs> it, and, yeah. and we're just print. <laughs> 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 this is my name. Like it's Zach. And they're like, Zach. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I like that one. Where did the glitter come from? Um, okay, okay. The Fast and the Furious is, is such a good movie. The Fast and the Furious is such a good movie. No, nope, I'm still, still there. The, fa- the Fast the, and the, the Furious. The Fat Americans. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> the, the Texas, I, I kind of need the cowboy hat to really get in the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The right. Fast and the Furious is the best movie. Wait, that's wait, Russian. what? I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm Russian. Uh, hey, look, that's fitting for Americans. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. This, guy, this guy might be in cahoots yeah. with old Putinator. Russian spy. Yeah, he's definitely a Russian. Did you hear his American is just Russian? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Accents have never been my specialty. I've, I've just got- You nailed British the British one though. <laughs> so, and the hat looks good on you. I wanna, I wanna start off by saying that. Say, I want a cheeseburger. I want a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll Honestly, I mean, you might write a bus that's a little different than ours, but it's there. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll give that a, like a five, you it, know? It's the hat. Yeah, it's, it's a five. The it's the hat. It's a superpower. Those those guys who, who learn languages from cartoons. I I did like six years of French, and the w- best I can say is baguette. <laughs> it's like it's a good word though. Do you remember that video? Um, that's like what English sounds like to non English speakers. But yeah, that's wild. That is such a mind fuck. That it's just like it literally sounds like gibberish. Do you, you can know? you pull it up? Um, yeah, because I don't think that's copyrighted. I think from a girl perspective, for most American guys, it makes uh, a girl more attractive if she has a British accent. You think? Uh, Two million percent. Because I, I flip it the other way. So you think a, a, so a girl with an American accent is more attractive? Yeah, it dep- depends, where, depends where in America, I would say. Okay, what's your favorite American accent? Oh. I, got, I got weird tastes, so I'm going to say Long Island accent. Oh, really? Like, like, like okay. Jersey Shore? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, w- I would say West Coast. Like Valley Girl? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, oh. a little bit. <laughs> Valley Girl, you got to appreciate. N- no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I you can appreciate tell you it from afar. All right, that's, that's where I'm coming from. You know who has one of the best British accents, though? Hey. On top of just like being really attractive? Uh, Dua Lipa. Oh, yes. Ooh. That is that. the quintessential like British accent for me. Like when I think of it, I picture someone speaking like that. I, I, I've got a friend who uh, did some filming of her and every single time he'd come back gushing about how amazing she was. But who wouldn't be? I'm also attracted to Dua Lipa. Is this what we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. If we collectively, so if all four of us collectively send love letters, what, she's got to get back to one of us. Yeah, we'll, we'll cease and desist letters. Or all of us, yeah. Yeah, yeah no. we'll all get a cease and desist letter. <laughs> That's what'll happen. But we're one step, like she knows our name. That's She'd a, have to sign off man's. on the restraining order. She would have to sign off on the restraining order. And then we get her signature. We get her <laughs> oh, autograph. Oh, and, then, and then we can sell that. And no, no. Then we use the signature to forge an un... Um, unseason and desist un- letter. and desist letter. And we're back in the game. I think we just found a... Uh, loopholes. Exactly. Absolute loopholes. So the reason we know these, these gentlemen that we ventured to Chili's with is um, one of you is in the music game and the yes. other one came with him. To America. Make sure I don't die. So make sure you don't die. Bodyguard, yeah, clearly. Um, so what do you do in kind of the music you got, industry? You got, you got a bet which one's the bodyguard? I assume you guys are gonna hire someone. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, what, what brought you to to the Los Angeles of Lay? Oh yeah, well, I mean, I've worked in music for probably about five years, six years now. Yeah. Um, yeah, so LA is where's most of the industry is at in terms of music, Yeah. TV, film. I mean, you know yourself. Um, came out here to, to tie a few loose ends off with a few Ooh. deals that are coming out end of the month and um, one fine loose end sitting at the head of the table. So you and Jared uh, are together to create <laughs> some to create some music. You're trying to, we had a coming to Jesus moment, kind of mm. what we call it in the States of of trying to get Jared out of his anxiety shell so we can start putting out more music. Yeah, we, we, we tried and then he slowly 
Descended in the same bullets as you both teamed up on him. I think that's kind of interesting. Can we? And maybe now we're getting quick, back. Into no, I think it. we should. Holy <laughs> hell! So, what's your what is your anxiety about this whole putting yourself out there thing? I think this is very interesting. Uh, my anxiety, I just like I don't know. I've never felt really super comfortable in front of the camera, you mm. know. And so, and like that's and kind to get your, of to get your music out there, like to give context. You like we all agree that you got to start posting more content, so you're more reachable and find findable i guess is the what was the phrase that you said no one can find you if you're not searchable you know yeah, what i mean exactly. or if you're not in their face constantly exactly people forget this about is an people. intervention i know I, and i i hate that i hate <laughs> that. no no no. i, I love it we're doing this again yeah well, no i just your friend i've just never felt comfortable in front of a camera so the idea of setting a camera up Ooh. <gasps> oh, oh hands up, up! Hey, dropouts. Okay, so now Hit we're with the what's up, B-word. What's up, B-words? Welcome back to episode 103. 104. This is our, our two-year two anniversary. anniversary. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. It's okay. You're only late <laughs> to an important one. Happy anniversary, guys. Okay, so we're in the middle of braiding Jared about um, his anxiety. So I'm glad, glad you could chime in now. I, I can't chime in on that. So what makes you, uh, what, where were we? About? Someone about his music. Yeah, what makes you the most stressed? You know, yeah, let's get deep done. Right here, <laughs> this. People, People crying, too. <laughs> that also also you children know. you hate them you mentioned that yeah. people looking at you in stools i actually I, confrontation well speaking of music and anxiety i actually i wrote a song about Do, oh don't you plug right now <laughs> oh having, it's not coming out right I'm, imagine having an intervention and then like it's like, like i wrote well, a song no, no what you're like fuck? one of those youtubers that is like i'm really sorry guys for being so racist but make sure you guys go check out my new album like and subscribe so jared why are you racist I'm not racist. Oh, well, Andy brought it up. I didn't know. <laughs> well, you guys are getting on me because you're like, you need to put your music out there more or whatever, you know? And no, that's like, exactly it. It's not whatever. Yeah, you know, deal, stop there. deal with your anxiety. And it's like, I found a way to deal with my anxiety. Oh, my God. With my, what are you talking about? <laughs> Classic musician. I use my songs to really deal with my inner demons. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Every <laughs> like, musician he's like, he's like, ever. He's like, nailed it. That's well, why I got into the profession. Yeah, it's an outlet. You know, it's like this is this is my therapy. But I wrote. I stop making it sound like it's gross. Okay. Okay. It's just annoying the, because I know I'm that person too. Like when I used to do music, I was like, it's an outlet. For me. Mm. It's a therapy. It's free therapy when really it was costing me thousands in mastering and producing and studio costs. Oh, so. see, that's why I taught myself how to do all of that. <laughs> Probably where you got the anxiety from. Right. Bank balance. Literally. So you're nervous all the time and then you wrote a song about it? What are the lyrics? Well, so basically I wanted to, I, I like songs that are kind of like concepts almost, you know? So um, basically it's it's like a conversation between the verses and the chorus. Um, and so it's two people and the, the person in the verse uh, well, so the person in the chorus is the one that has anxiety. And then the person in the verse uh, is somebody that doesn't and they don't understand what the other person is going through. Tea. And did you say tea? Yeah. <laughs> I was like acknowledging is that what for you're is that for our British guest? <laughs> Baby and Beret. Oh, right, 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 right. You remember the Boston oh, yeah, thing? Uh, the bridge and then the chorus thing? So the, the person in the verse doesn't understand what the person in the chorus is going through. And so it's totally gonna thank, shit in your room. <laughs> no, I shut the doors. Okay. I learned from the last time. Um so like the person in the verse is like Oh, you think too much. Why don't you just open your mind? Um, you don't have to like bear so much weight on your shoulders. Like just let it I've down. Heard this one. We get it. Jerry Bear music going. <laughs> and then the you've heard the the chorus of it because I, I redid the instrumental for it, but I wrote this chorus a, a while ago. But it the the chorus says like, don't you think I'm trying? Do you do you think I like feeling like I'm dying? Um, oh, I remember. Oh, I think I've yeah. heard this one. And so, but I went ahead and I actually, I wrote the rest of the song out, redid the instrumental for it, and then I recorded my own voice on it. I processed the hell out of it so it's like pitched down, auto-tune or whatever to make, it, Scott. to make it sound not that bad. It's, <laughs> have you heard him play? screaming at the crowd? Haven't, you haven't heard that the song yet. I've heard the, the I've heard the song. One. Can can we just play it? No, I'm not uh, ready to the, put this it. This is the anxiety I'm, coming I'm, out. I'm not ready no, to this, put it on the this, podcast. But this is like the cool. I feel like this is the cool. No, if you if like, you want to check out the the chorus of it, I put up a TikTok. At, oh, oh, and there he goes, dude. Yeah, and it's like the, Let me just don't off platform me. Hold on. Well, you said it yourself. He can't say no two times in a row. No, no. Yeah. Did you see immediately he folded? He's like, <laughs> okay. He asked again. Well, I guess no, because the, the TikTok's already up, so like you can go and find it. So I got this uh, comment. Okay. Ah, uh, I heard your voice. Well, well yeah, because somebody was like, you should make a song with your own voice, and then so I was like, oh, this is a perfect opportunity to like 
make a song, like try to make a song or whatever. So this, this is like the, the chorus of it. Can't you just forget about life, 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 life? Don't you think I'm trying? Do you think I like feel like I'm dying? Wishing I could face all the demons I've been hiding. When I'm weird and I'm being really quiet. Don't you think I'm trying? Do you think I your voice in that bro what do you mean that's just as processed as drugs was about if more if not more well, no, processed. I'm, I'm not saying that i was saying no not like travis scott in the sense that it's not a, like auto-tune and whatever but like not that like rapper feel or whatever oh, i mean that feels exactly like that but i hear you <laughs> you think that, uh, that's all right you heard the video of him screaming at the security dude that shit is so yeah. funny or when he falls off the stage <laughs> he's like whoa <laughs> Sound like a robot Dude, dying. It's literally so funny. But the the song that I actually recorded, I slowed it down, redid the instrumental. But that's essentially what it sounds like. And when's wow. it coming out? I got a long way to make it mm. like perfect. Do you but think that I like you? I'm like, I'm See, she's already singing it. <laughs> Maybe I should put it out. Or was sooner. I making fun of it? You'll never know. Okay, so we've got we've got a music superstar, a music superstar's friend, a music superstar in the making, uh, someone who's late all the time, and then handsome <laughs> and me. You could have easily gone with somebody that's failed in the music industry and just went. Why the hell would I say that? <laughs> that is the most rude thing I don't I've know. ever. I didn't fail. I actually you did really well. Fail. I, just, like, I was about to say. Could when, you imagine when, how awful failing? that would have went? If, no, like, I didn't fail. I just said bye. Yeah, you you Peace had out. a your last song that you put out like charted number one or something or top it actually 10. Did, it did chart number one for yeah, two weeks. Yeah, chart so number one you. in like the indie charts or whatever. Uh, so. The independent right. charts. Well, that's just hers. Well, that's what I... Damn it. Was that your joke that you're trying to come across? No, that wasn't a joke. I said indie charts and then I realized, oh, that's her name. And then oh, gotcha. she was like, well, independent. And I no, was I think like, I just fell out of love with music, honestly. So I was like, bye. What'd you fall in love with? Me too. Really good Mr. Hanson. He's a good boy. He was really good at dinner. He just fell asleep. Yeah, that's really? what he does. He's a big sleeper. On what? the topic of sleep, someone over here asleep talks, walks, does the whole Do you really? Shazam. He threw a poker chip at me the other night. <laughs> I mean, you deserved it. I don't know what happened. Dead in the middle of the sleep. He was also screaming at uh, the shadows in your room. Oh, the other that, yeah, that, that was, was the one. really creepy that one. Was a scary one. <laughs> in the middle of the night, about 2 a.m., all I hear is a, you don't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> was, then, that, was that my dad? Or? And then Max pointing into the shadows somewhere. You don't belong. You fucking creep. <laughs> Hey, I can see ghosts and I tell them to fuck off. I'm supporting my boy. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm looking out for us. No, this is uh, a true bodyguard. That's terrible. That is a true bodyguard. True bodyguard. So Kieran over here uh, has done well in the music industry, but he doesn't He doesn't like being the face of anything. <laughs> God. See what I mean? No way. No way that just happened. We were talking about that at, <laughs> at lunch today, how you knocked that off. It's one of a kind. Kieran's He's, the one that well. sent us that, that plaque. And he saw the episode when she knocked it off the wall. Oh. And here's part two, just with him in person. So you've created some country songs that have yeah. amassed, how many views would you say total? Oh, or know. how many streams? Spotify for artists. Is, is country very... like pretty big? No. In, uh, why, why, why country? Oh, this is where we go back to the very coincidental um, answer that Jared was giving earlier of outlet. Country, country music was your outlet? Yeah, it's That's storytelling. Amazing. Yeah, it's, I agree. It's, it's, country music is very much storytelling. But yeah, no, it's like storytelling wise is, is, is perfect. It's just a very nice outlet. Like Okay, so we got a songwriter, we've got a producer, we've got a singer, and we've got a guy and then another guy. I, so, I can draw, I can draw, that's all I can do. So you can do there the cover go. art. Yeah, he can do the do album art. I, I, I sing at karaoke, but that's mostly oh, when I'm drunk. I think it'd be fun. You. To, you. Oh, mm, no. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you do. I say it would be fun if we had more time. Well, maybe next time you're in town. We'll see how like quick we can do. Like we have to do a song in an hour or like two an hours, hour. whatever it is, like in oh, there. Oh, that'd actually be really And good. then we could do it on the podcast. And mm. We should actually do that. That'd be fun. I think it'd be a pretty fun thing. Don't and then you got to release it to your platform. That would give me something to put Fans out. Fans have been so. dying for us to have a song together. Yeah, I know. And we have one, kind of. Are we allowed to play <laughs> it? Bro, if there's one no. company I would like to shut. How was your um? How was your birthday bash? You My birthday you? bash. You went. You went for your VR stuff. Didn't you? Your birthday tomorrow. It is tomorrow. <gasps> oh yeah! By the time this comes out, I'll be twenty four. You don't deserve to live that do, long. Do you want to? <laughs> Do you want to steal my gift for him? Actually, no. I said I wasn't buying you a gift. Ah, I already you bu I bought you a sick gift last year. You what got, are you you got uh, that thing over there. 
Oh, can we give it to him now? Of that course we, we can. Then his reaction Does will be- Does he know what it is? On camera forever. I kind of sport it a little Oh, bit. this is Jira's birthday podcast. Woo-hoo, woo-hoo, Um, How old are you going to be? 24. This guy, this guy, uh, it got taken over Wait, by the two-year. Wait, go give him this present. I love oh, seeing you. Uh-oh, Jared. It's in a parcel. I don't even know. What, what is that? I just know that's what you guys say. Oh, what the hell? That's funny. So it's, it's a very- expensive looking bottle of rum what is it it's rum it's pretty uh, he was like he doesn't gorgeous. like rum I was like, how do you it's, not like rum on the top like of rum? this this will make what's the date rum. on it you don't like rum is that no okay that's founded in 1796 okay I we already was, won the war by then good you miss. <laughs> no it's it's called solera rum which is funny because that's the name of my original music project oh i i knew that God. What is it? Do You're you like on rum? top of it. No, I, so I was, well, <laughs> no. I was, well, when someone gives you a gift, oh, you lie wow. immediately. All right, take a I, swig. I bet you that tastes nice. Yeah, you you you, you got to take a swig now. Pressure. He was like, he doesn't like anything but tequila. I was like, that's not standing. Well, it's not like that I don't like anything but te tequila. I, I just prefer tequila. I think I've ever heard someone say they prefer tequila. A lot of people <laughs> over here do. end up mm -hmm. drinking tequila. The Mexican culture is very big here because we're three hours away from Mexico. So and everyone Jared's like half Mexican. Here. So ah, yes. you can tell by the skin color. No, but I was telling them a story about like at, at, uh, at lunch because they asked me if I liked rum and I, I was telling them there was a New Year's Eve like a while back that uh, mm. somebody convinced me that chocolate milk and rum Ooh. is a good combination. No, but that doesn't taste like that. Oh, no, that I, I um, know, but that just like ruined plus the dark idea. Dark rum is like a whole different experience than like. Plus, chocolate milk and rum will, will make you throw up. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> I can assure you that it did. I love wax seals. They're so fancy. You know, this doesn't feel like. Ooh, that was a satisfying pop. It doesn't feel like the type of drink that you swig. Take a sip. All right. Well. Fucking heck. Cheers. Happy birthday, neck, everybody. Neck the bowl. <laughs> He's not throwing up yet. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like alcohol. It's honestly not that bad. I mean, not you can tell by his face. Yeah. The, the bite is a little strong, but the taste is honestly kind of nice. It's very fruity mm. a little bit. Throw honestly, up. I yeah. see why pirates drink this. It's very tropical. <laughs> <laughs> when you sleep with an American woman, when you finish, do you say the British are coming or no? <laughs> <laughs> we did VR for his birthday. Um, this is the first time I've ever treated you to something. I uh, yeah, I know. This is strange. Is it gonna because now you feel like you owe me kind for my of, birthday? Yeah. yeah, that was a plan. Oof, what are um, you getting for his birthday? Exactly. Now you gotta yeah. rattle your brain. So we go to this VR place and I've 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 done VR just a little headset at home, but it was this entire open room where you can walk around in VR and you have like all of these sensors like on your wrist and ankles and stuff. And like you're wearing this vest and fully immersed, and it's just us three in a room. And then when we start playing this horror game, one well, of one of the craziest experiences I've ever had. Well, what horror game was it? It was uh, Deadwood Mansion. Deadwood Mansion. It was basically like Call of Duty Zombies, mm -hmm. but just like VR. And honest to God, it was one of the coolest experiences, but absolutely terrifying. I'd so be hiding under a table. If there <laughs> if there was a table, I would have been there. It was, it was so much fun. Like we're like working together and like shooting these zombies. And it, it was very interesting to me. Just because I kept thinking, okay, 10, 20 years ahead of, of now, what is it going to be like? If this is the base model of, like, people are definitely not going to be leaving their houses. You've seen or, Ready Player One. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. It's gonna, that's a great I mean, that, movie. isn't it? It's, it's where it's got to be going. I wonder how quick to get to that point is going to be, though. Mm. Like, when are they going to manufacture, like, consumer suits that are, you can feel things? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, the the feedback suits are already shit, but I don't think it's going to catch on to at least, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, what were they called? Haptic, Haptic feedback suits. Like, I think Ready Player One was set in like 2050, Ooh, I think. Or there. Maybe, I mean, as fast as it's progressing now, like that's 28 years from now. So um, like I could definitely see it being a thing, especially with like in the, the big thing with that is that their economy almost like entirely goes online, like into this like VR world. And it's like, we're kind of headed that way with like all this crypto and like blockchain stuff and whatnot. I mean, with the way crypto is looking at the moment, I don't know if it's still That's heading true. that way. That's true. The crypto, I, I keep getting like notifications, especially for like Ethereum. And it's like, it used to be like 34. Have you got what they're talking about? Because <laughs> I don't. It used I to do, be I like $3,400 for one Ethereum. That's why I think we need to just dump all our money in it now. I mean, it is cheap right now. Move. It's like, uh, 
It's like eleven hundred or something yeah, or twelve hundred. Yeah, cash. Just like chuck it in there real quick, see what happens. Uh, it's, it's a fun well, roller coaster. In like man. three years, it was definitely going to go up, though. Or in thirty, you never know. Or thirty. I've got. I plan on living that long. Um. Hey, people that talk funny. Uh, cursive speakers. You guys have anything else you want to say to the American public slash? And actually, this is worldwide. So, um, mm. if you like hit country songs, though, we're not allowed to talk about. Go stream them so he gets yeah, more money. The, Do you want to plug yeah, it? Yeah, Do you want to plug this single so you can get more uh, money? I'm pretty sure it's not very. Very hard to guess exactly which single that was. Album out at the end of the month. So Very crossed. exciting stuff. You want to continue getting a paycheck, so this is going to help him out a I'd lot. I'd like to get my flight home. Yeah, so if you don't get stream the album, country. he can't get home. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and staying to the end. Thank you to um, Second Place for being here. We really appreciate it, guys. I still don't quite get where you're getting this second place from, but we'll... Again, scoreboard. Score. It's not a big so. deal. It's not a big deal, but it's the biggest deal that... America. All right. Um, no, thank you guys. If you stay till the end... Uh, Please send me your favorite Harry Potter meme. Fun, oh, huh? That's a good one. Yeah. And if you didn't stay till the end, you didn't hear this anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Diana. This is Handsome the Bulldog. That is Act Justice. Allegedly. That's Jerry Brad Music. And these are. She's forgotten the names. Yeah, already. she hundred percent. never knew the names has. in the first place. Yeah. Yep, huh? Kieran and Matt. Matt. Kieran and Matt. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What? This, this is what I've got on my golf card. <laughs> you have a golf Matt, card? Matt, right? Or Max? Max. Maximilian. That's, that's what his friends call him. I always do that. That's how I always Maximus do Maximus Whatever, fucking. Is that your full see name? you next week on Dropouts. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs>